Hi, I'm Bonnie Francis and we're here with Dave Yaki and you're here to tell us about what you're going to do at the Senior Summit and where you work. Tell us where you work. Okay. I'm with Bay Area Center for Independent Living. Uh -huh. We are located in Salisbury, Maryland, but we cover the entire eastern shore. Okay, so what can people, I mean, it's assisted living, it's, uh, tell us what it is. Wonderful, that's actually a very good question that I hear, uh, okay. hear a lot actually. We're not an assisted living facility. What we do is we help individuals with any form of disability. Okay. From the time from birth all the way until end of life, we help them to stay independent in the, co in the community. Okay. So whether that be through the assistance of adaptive equipment, adaptive technology, independent living skills, um, somebody to help manage like their waiver program, we do all of, we can do all those things. Now you mentioned technology, let's start there. Sure. What type of technology can people maybe get to help them at home? Okay, that's an excellent question. Um, I'm actually the Assistive Technology Program Manager at Bay Area Center for Independent Living. And so what that means is assistive technology is any device or piece of equipment or software that can help somebody to stay independent. So an example of that would be uh, what's called a super pole. That sounds like an interesting yeah. thing. It's not a superhero <laughs> type of deal, but what is, it's, a, it's a pole that would go from floor to ceiling next to the individual's bed. Uh -huh. So if let's say they have trouble getting in and out of bed, right. the pole would go right next to their bed and there's attachments that can go on the pole. So they can have a bar to grab a hold of to help get them out of bed, or you can attach a tray to it. So if they need to be in bed, the tray can actually come around in front of them and they can put things on it. They can put food on it, a computer, anything of that, of that nature to help them to stay independent. Okay. Um, other forms would be what we call the pocket talker, which is very interesting. And we're going to have one of those at the, at the senior summit. Uh -huh. It's a device that actually will amplify all the sound around you. So even if you have trouble with hearing aids, Let's say you have hearing aids, but right. you still have a little trouble hearing. This device can actually amplify the sound even more, so you can hear people talking better, you can have conversations better. Yeah, that's a problem that I have. I mean, as, because I can tell when my husband has the volume of the TV mm -hmm. at one number and mine's twice as high, right. when I listen to it, I know there's a problem. Right. So, now, if, if a person has problem hearing, you wouldn't have someone, you know, some other device or thing like that. It just amplifies the sound in the home. Or is there something they could put on the phone? Like if they get a phone call, do you have that type of technology? Yeah, actually, we are the Maryland Relay Eastern Shore contractors. Okay. And Maryland Relay provides free adaptive telecommunication equipment. And so the phones that they provide are actually amplified up to 60 decibels. So, which means that if somebody has trouble hearing on a normal standard telephone, these phones are amplified to the point to where anybody with mild, moderate, or severe hearing loss can now hear on the telephone. All right, one of the ladies that I call for the telephone reassurance program mm -hmm. has a phone with captions on it. Yes. Do you have those types? Yes, we do. Okay. And that's another thing that Maryland Relay does provide, just in case the individual's hearing loss is so severe that even being amplified doesn't help. Right. We can access captioned telephones. It, it makes it a little harder to talk because you've got to give that person time to read mm -hmm. what you've just said. And I try to shorten my sentences when I'm talking with her. Right. But it's, you have to stop and think before you say something so that you give her time to read it, plus then exactly. she can respond. Exactly. It does, so, it does take some getting used to yes. the caption phones on both ends, from the user to the person who calls them. It does take some getting used to, but if you need it, it's a wonderful option. Okay, now tell us what a person does to get in touch with you. Do they call? Do they email? Uh, they, can do, uh, they can do both. Okay. Um, our phone number is 443-260-0822. Uh, okay. And then uh, my personal email address 
is my first initial and my last name. So that would be D Y O C K E Y at Bay Area C I L dot O R G. Okay. We may have you write that down for us and make sure, or that we have it so right. that we can, you know, give it to the people in case they have some questions or concerns mm -hmm. and want to know what else you offer there. Sure. Now, you're going to be out at the Senior Summit yes. on May 19th. Yes. That's out at the 4-H Park here in Centerville. And um, that's usually the third Friday in mm -hmm. May. So we're hoping for good weather. What types of things will you have at your table? Well, at our table, we will have an array of different types of assistive devices and equipment that individuals can actually try right there. Okay. They'll be able to actually pick it up, handle it. Like we'll have a pocket talker there, like I, like I mentioned, so they can try it out. Right. There's um, video, handheld video magnifiers that we will bring that people will be able to try out and different types of equipment and phones. So that way they can get a feel for what we offer. Right. But then also they can already have an idea when they call us, hey, I saw this at the senior summer, I tried it. It seemed to work. Because what we do is we also loan out equipment. Okay. So if the person comes to our table and says, you know, this might work, we can do a loan for up to three weeks. Okay. So the individual can find out if it really will work for them in their environment. That's good. And if it does, we don't just say, okay, that, that's what it was and now you're on, now you're on your own. <laughs> We actually can help to find funding to pay for the device if the individual cannot afford to pay for it themselves. Now, what type of funding, I mean, how do they go about, what do you use for something like that? Yeah, well, there's a lot of different funding sources out there that people don't really know about. And one of the biggest ones that helps us out is Chop Tank Electric Trust. Oh. Yes, Chop, it's an excellent program. What Chop Tank Electric does is Everybody who is on Chop Tank Electric, they round the bills up to the nearest dollar. Right. And so the, the leftover change right. is put into this fund okay. every month. And so then what we do is we have an application where we help the individual fill out the, app, the application, get the estimates, and send it to them. And you, the beauty is you don't have to be a Chop Tank Electric customer to access these funds. Anybody on the Eastern Shore can access these funds. Okay. So that's one. Another place that we often go to is the is the Alliance Club, the American Legion, VFW, places like that. They have funds that they do help us with with purchasing equipment and devices for people. Now what do I mean what does a device what can it range from? Like Oh it the, can range any as far as dollar figures go, it yes. can range anywhere from like ten dollars. <laughs> All the way up to four or five thousand dollars. Okay. Depending on what the device is. Okay. Another place that gives us funding is the is the uh, the United Way, and um, <coughs> excuse me. So the United Way helps us out quite a, quite a bit with funding. So that's just some of the community partners that we have. So what counties do you cover then? You go. We cover the entire Eastern Shore, so all nine counties, including okay. including Cecil County. Queen Anne's County, Kent County, all the way down. Okay. So we like to say we cover from the bay to the ocean. Right, right, which is true. And when you're yep. talking the Eastern Shore, that's what you got. Yep. Well, anything else that you have at your table? Any giveaways that you know about? Oh, yes, or? yes. Um, we do have a lot of get. We do have a lot of giveaways. Um, the different programs that we work that we work with, like Maryland Relay, the Maryland Techno Technology Assistance Program. The ADA, they always give us a lot of a lot of giveaways to give out to, to folks. So So will you be at the table? Yes. Good. Yes. It's a fun event. Oh yeah. We we've done it every year and we, we just love coming out. It's really nice to meet all of all the folks that live here and access the wonderful services that you guys have and it, well, it gives them a chance. I mean, I know I told my husband I lived here most of my life and there were things out there that I didn't know. Mm -hmm. that were offered. And right. so it's a good way for us to let people know there exactly. are things out there if you need help. Don't just try to do it yourself. Get the help you need. Exactly. And that's one of the things we love about the summit is even for us from an organizational standpoint, we get to meet other vendors and right. other organizations that then we can help connect people to. Right. Because we're a resource center. So if we don't have it, 
we help you find who find out who does. So this summit's great not only for meeting the people and helping the people, but it's great for us to meet other vendors in the area. Right, you're networking. Exactly. Right. Well, we thank you for coming up. Yes, thank Good you. Good seeing you again, you and too. hopefully I'll see you out at the summit. Yes, indeed.